hey guys welcome back again to my channel my name is melissa otzi and if you're new on this channel you know the drill please kindly like this video subscribe to my channel and click the bell so that whenever i post new content on this channel you'll be the very first to find out so you guys today and we are going to be talking see i feel like this particular topic needs to be addressed like somebody needs to come out and say something about this it might not make any change but at least it needs to be said and yes i am here to say it <laughs> so you guys it's no news that a lot of nigerians are exiting nigeria to the uk like tons and tons of nigerians well nigerians migrate to other countries us canada dubai name it but today i'm going to be focusing on the uk because there is a high influx of nigerians migrating to the uk especially since the uk um decided to start giving two years post study visa and also giving sponsorship to health workers doctors nurses and even recently there is a high influx of nigerians moving to the uk to work as healthcare assistants now it's been trending it's been everywhere on the news it's on social media so many nigerians are migrating to the uk even other african countries are even laughing at nigeria that's saying a lot of things about nigerians and very soon nigeria is going to be empty people are living uk is the capital of nigeria some people will say whenever they open their youtube or their social media accounts all they see is migrating from nigeria to the uk and nigerians to the uk are too loud like just so many things even recently they came for youtubers that talk about migrating to the uk at this point it's to say there are so many people that are just ready to attack nigerians moving to the uk or youtubers that are creating uk content well i'm just here to tell you that if you're one of the people who keeps saying that nigerians should stop moving to the uk and that they should stay back in nigeria to develop nigeria i am here to tell you guys to stop like it is no longer funny anymore i mean nigeria is made up of over 200 million people i mean i think about 206 million plus people and in 2021 the number of nigerians that are in the uk is a it's a little above 178 000 i mean we have over 206 million people in nigeria and the population of nigerians living in the uk nigerians residing in the uk i'm not talking about people that come to visit i mean people that have the resident permit to live in the uk starts 2021 where 178,000 in number this is 2022 so obviously i'm sure it must have increased hopefully by the end of the year we'll be able to know the number of nigerians that are currently residing in the uk but for now i'm going to work with figures of 2021 so you're trying to say that this 178,000 people that are residing in the UK are your problem. Or this set of people is the main reason why Nigeria is not developing or Nigeria is not growing. See, you guys, see, I have lived on this earth for over two decades. And I can tell you that Nigeria has been getting worse. Each year, Nigeria gets worse. Like, I can remember vividly growing up when dollar increased to 98 naira and people were screaming. Like, it's still very clear in my head. I was having this discussion with my mom just yesterday. Like, was it no dollar that was 90 something naira some time ago? And everybody was shouting, Oh, fuel has increased. And then I think fuel was selling for probably 80 something. I can't even recall. And people were screaming, Now, I don't even know the rate for fuel now in Nigeria. If you know, please, please let me know in the comment section. Even as we speak now, one pound is equivalent to, I think, 968 naira. Things are getting bad. So, are you trying to tell me that this 178,000 people that are residing in the UK is the main reason why things are getting bad? now let me take you back migration did not just start now migration has always existed and for a country to thrive migration will have to occur now the first president of nigeria namdi azikwe schooled in the u.s he lived in the u.s for over a decade before returning to nigeria to bring a positive change i mean namdi azikwe is one of the people that fought at making sure that we get independence this is someone that schooled in the u.s now fella Kuti lived and studied abroad before returning to nigeria to pioneer afrobeat music see migration has always existed even growing up it was so normal for my relatives abroad in the u.s uk to come back to nigeria and we all just surround them they give us sweet they give us give us things like people have always lived abroad it's not a recent thing it has always been in existence it's just that it has been really quiet because i mean social media wasn't in existence there but now there's social media things have become so easy As a matter of fact most of our leaders i mean the ones with sense 
most of them lived abroad studied abroad for so many years before coming back to nigeria to implement change so i don't understand why migrating to the uk is suddenly a problem i'm training on tiktok and it's not in uk 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 residents not let us hear what people are living people are living in nigeria for the uk why are people living in nigeria for come go back to your country now a lot of people travel abroad on a daily basis i remember when us was trending that was doing the visa lottery time before it was stopped i don't know if it has been stopped permanently but yeah before it was put to a halt lots and lots of nigerians migrated to the us that period but unfortunately of course there was no social media to show us the statistics there was no social media for people to talk about it and to be very honest this those set of people that migrated to the us years back I'm not going to lie, a lot of them have actually developed Nigeria in one way or another. People that migrate abroad, it's even safe to say they even develop Nigeria more than people that choose to stay back. Because, I mean, you that, that is staying back in Nigeria, what exactly have you done to improve the state of Nigeria? There are some people that say Nigerians are their worst enemies. And to be very honest, I think I agree with that statement to a certain degree. Because I don't understand why people would hate on anyone that has decided to make the big move of migrating to another country to start a life, to raise a family. It's supposed to be celebrated. It's, it's, a, it's a good thing. So like this set of people that migrate abroad, they create jobs even from the abroad. I know people that are currently in the UK, they have pharmacies in Nigeria. They have businesses in Nigeria. They've built so many houses, built so many hostels, built hospitals. In fact, most of private hospital owners in Nigeria studied abroad. They come back and then they create job opportunities for Nigerians living in Nigeria. Now, I'm going to use myself as a case study. I remember when I finished uni and I had to pack my things back home. I can't ever forget that day because I cried. I mean, I should be happy that I am graduating. People graduate from the UK and they are so happy they are out of school. They are so relieved. They can't wait to get into their role. They can't wait to practice their profession. They can't wait to, you know, do that thing they've always wanted to do. Chase their dreams. But, but an average Nigerian will finish from the uni I would be so sad. I was, I was crying. My mom was consoling me. I was crying because I didn't know where to start. I felt like my life was about to start. Because when you look at people that graduated before you and they have absolutely nothing to show for it, which of course it is not their fault. Most of them have to learn a skill, learn tailoring, learn how shoemaking, learn hair making, makeup, learn businesses, you know, start selling things on Instagram. Some even become full-time content creators. They try to create jobs for themselves because there's actually nothing waiting for them. I remember auditioning to become an OAP on her personality and unfortunately did not get the job. I remember traveling far to audition for that job. I unfortunately did not get the job despite performing very, very well. Like I knew I performed so well because while in school, I had a bit of experience as an OAP. So I knew I performed well, but obviously they needed someone with years of experience i mean this is someone that is just coming out from school where is she supposed to get the experience from the few experience i managed to get during holiday it did not count for them this is what we, we face in nigeria so someone will create a job opening and would be on the lookout for a nigerian youth that is below 25 years with 10 years experience it's so unrealistic that's indirectly telling you bring your money and i'll give you the job and then when these graduates are so frustrated and then decide to travel to the uk you start hating on them start telling them go back to nigeria to develop nigeria how i also like to say that it's not just nigerians that are moving to the uk I, I see a lot of comments on social media even in my comment section nigerians are all over the uk that is not true we have plenty of asians in the uk the uk is a multicultural society other nationals live and thrive in the uk we have the chinese community uk very strong community of chinese people we definitely find that china is very developed and of course one of the developed countries in the world there are people still migrate they're trying to say that china is going to suddenly become underdeveloped because chinese people are leaving china for the uk do you get the point we have lots of pakistanis in the uk as a matter of fact these people have done so well most of the gp surgeries that i know are owned by british pakistanis now we have lots of indians in the uk not just nigerians you get this information about nigerians moving to the uk all the time because that is what you are searching for if you start searching for other things how to migrate to canada how to migrate to canada or life in the u.s life in the u.s whatever social media platform that you're in we keep recommending the kind of content that you searching for so i guess you that is insulting nigerians that are moving to the uk you probably want to migrate to the uk but no opportunity we all know that 
yes the uk might be easy to, to migrate to but it is not cheap you need to have millions of naira to be able to migrate to the uk now that brings me to civil servants like my mom happens to be a civil servant and i literally saw this woman toy so hard to be able to train myself and my siblings through school i toy i literally saw her work endlessly and luckily she works with the federal government so she was always getting paid there are lots of civil servants that work for different state government that are being owed how can you literally owe someone five months salary six months salary how do you expect such a person to feed or thrive in the country these are people that have decided that oh nigeria is my country i am going to live in nigeria i'm going to raise my children in nigeria they are so patriotic that they want to stay back and then nigeria happens to treat them so badly and you expect them not to encourage their children to live i mean people will graduate from school and still go back home to be collecting money from their parents when ideally they should be working so hard to contribute meaningfully to the society talk of doctors nurses health professionals a graduate nurse after turning five years in school will come out and be any 40k salary 30k salary what for is it for beans is it for a bar i don't know <laughs> oh my gosh like seriously 30k is it for beans is it for a bar I don't know tell me like it is bad i remember my particular youtuber uh, that the husband happens to a doctor the husband had to leave nigeria for one of the asian countries and he literally said a lot and really i agree with him he talked a lot about the poor rate salary like someone will come to fix his ac and will literally pay the person 10k cash and you you will go for extra shifts and you'll be paid 2500 per hour people are underpaid in nigeria in the uk you can work extra shifts and be paid extra even during bank holidays when you work you get double pay like they encourage you to work but in nigeria they're even looking for how to steal from your salary looking for how not to pay you you go to work late they take two thousand off your salary you know so many ill treatments are being meted out on people should we talk about the insecurity in nigeria the kidnappings that brings me to the entire protest the service okay we literally saw i love nigerians died trying to rescue nigeria and you expect more to stay back to to rescue nigeria i mean you can't rescue a country that does not want to be rescued so to be honest if you're looking at leaving nigeria for the uk or any other european country please leave i'm pretty sure that the people that keep aiming at um, nigerians moving to the uk i'm sure you they are not living in their village because it's the same thing an average graduate wants to serve in lagos or portacot or abuja because you know that these cities are a bit developed and and there are lots of industries in these cities and it might be easier for you to get a job in these cities than in your village why don't you graduate and then apply to serve your country in a very remote village maybe you can start from there who knows development might start from there you live in portacourt you live in abuja and then you're insulting people that decide to move abroad for better life why don't you go back to your village and start your development there now that reminds me of my very first job i mean when i finished school i struggled a bit to get a job like i was literally up for any kind of job receptionist sales get the pharmacy like i was open because i literally just wanted something to be entering my account every month very first job after school i only worked there for one month and i wasn't paid i mean what, what was my salary guys Twenty thousand naira. Twenty thousand naira should be like 12 pounds hey <laughs> god 12 pounds or there about a month and yet this people still refuse to pay me who would i run to who would i talk to when my employer refuses to pay me absolutely no one i think i've mentioned this on this channel before i remember working for a particular company in this uk and they refused to pay me i immediately reported them to citizens advice and the money came out they paid me my money in full you see like i'm not here to tell you reasons why you should move to the uk because it is very obvious in the uk if you're very hard working you would see the proceeds but in nigeria a lot of people that are so hard working they talk day and night with absolutely nothing to show up things that should not be luxury attempt luxury in nigeria while in the uk these are like basic amenities see we literally can't compare i'm not here to bring down nigeria and promote the uk i'm just trying to say that whatever works for you if you feel like you want to remain in nigeria and you have your reasons then it's fine perfect remain in nigeria the same way you're so patriotic the same way you love your country and you really want to live there thrive there is the same way that lots of people want to leave nigeria 
and migrate to other countries especially the uk you're not getting insulted for your decision we respect your decision yes you want to remain back in the country to develop the country but while doing that make sure you have your pvc and make sure you vote the right person so why are you throwing jabs at people that decide to make the big move of moving to the uk why are you cussing that out content creators that promote the uk you tell them they keep promoting other man's country they should be promoting their home country i'm sorry but a lot of youtubers a lot of social media content creators that promote nigeria why don't you follow them and just and unfollow the ones that promote the uk since that is not what you want to see instead of spending your time to constantly insult them talk them down bring them down telling them to go back to their home country to develop it and all that this is 2022 we need to be wise see home is where you find happiness home is where you are accepted you can't literally be in a place where your life is at risk you're hungry you can barely feed you can barely fend for yourself you can barely fend for your family you're suffering you're in abject poverty and you keep saying oh this is my home i will stay here and suffer and die here when there are better opportunities you guys like i said i'm not yet to talk down on anyone i'm not yet to insult anyone i'm not yet to insult my country whenever people tell me in my comment section that i should go back to nigeria and all that i tell them that no problem i'll go back to nigeria right after you when you finish developing nigeria i'll come and join you but yeah it starts with you let me know in the comment section if you're in agreement with what i just said and of course let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section thank you so much guys for watching this video till i see you all in my next one guys Bye.